our feedback amplifier using PET and transistor. Order code is 36311. So, this is the trainer key and this is the mimic diagram given on the trainer key. This is voltage shunt feedback amplifier using transistor and this is current shunt feedback amplifier using transistor. This in this portion we have used FET. This is voltage series feedback amplifier using FET and this is current series feedback amplifier using FET. This, this is the circuit diagram of port type or port type amplifiers. This the, uh, this connection is already in build, so for this we do not need to build any additional connection. This is the main switch to turn on or off the kit. This is user manual and patch cords, these all are included in this kit and to do the experiment we will need a audio frequency generator and a DSO. The experiment is to observe the voltage shunt feedback amplifier using transistor. So to this the input signal will go here, input signal will go here. and the output will go here. Keep the switch and without feedback position, uh, the sign frequency should be 1 kilohertz and the level of the signal will be minimum. Now switch, now I am turning on the kit and slowly increase the level of the output, level of the signal. Keep increasing it till the signal get distorted. So here we can see the signal is starting to get distorted. So keep the level there. Now put this switch in with feedback position. You will see that the output waveform is the exact replica of the input waveform with reduced gain. So here you can observe that the gain is reduced. Now vary the frequency. And observe the bandwidth of the amplifier with feedback and without feedback. Our next experiment is to observe the current shunt feedback amplifier using transistor. So for this, this is the this portion is the current shunt feedback amplifier. So here we will give the input signal and we will observe the output here. So give input signal here. observe, we will observe the output here. Now keep this switch at without feedback position, 
the input signal should be 1 kilohertz frequency and the level should be minimum that is 0. Now, turn on the kit and slowly increase the level of the signal till the signal started to get distorted. So, here, and here we can see the signal is starting to get distorted. Now, select the switch in with feedback position and observe that the output signal is the exact replica of the input signal with reduced gain. So, now vary the frequency to observe the bandwidth of the amplifier with feedback and without feedback like this. And draw the frequency characteristics. Our next experiment is voltage series feedback amplifier using FET and this portion on the trainer kit is voltage series feedback amplifier. So, we will give input here and we will observe the output from here and this is the FET. So, giving input here. And we will observe the output here. Now, keep this switch in without feedback position and the sign input signal frequency should be 1 kilohertz and the amplitude will be at minimum level. So, now I am turning on the K and slowly turn on, slowly increase the level of the input signal till the output started to get distorted. You can see the output is starting to get distorted here. Now, select this switch with feedback position and you can see that the output signal is the exact replica of the input signal with reduced gain. Now, vary the frequency to observe the bandwidth of the amplifier without feedback position and with feedback position and draw the frequency characteristics curve. Similarly, we can perform the experiment for current series feedback amplifier. The steps are exactly the same like the previous three.